Mrs. Pitt's not going to be happy. Where did you last have your reading book? Upstairs with Moses, I think. Now, I think you need to stop leaving your stuff everywhere. But I'm only six. Uh, Mozart was writing operas when he was six. Hey, up. Hey, he thinks it's upstairs from the other day. Oh, you do anything to get into my bedroom, you will. You can cut that right out. <laughs> my, my, my. She bounces back quickly. You're making this worse for yourself. If you cared, you'd speak to Ryan for me. Any luck up there? It isn't here. Well, check again. Have a look under the bed. You'd better not be dragging me into some drama with your boyfriend, either. Does it kill you saying boyfriend? You know, like I've let the sisterhood down. Oh, the sisterhood's much safer with you on the other side. <laughs> Oh, no. What now? Ryan's blocked me. Oh, my God, no, Ness. You're gonna have to help me sort this out. Sorry, your son's yours to sort and mine's mine. Oh, come on, you can fob a teacher off any day of the week. But it's Mrs Pitt. OK, fine. Just tell her you know about the shoplifting charge back in 1987. Blackmail her. I used to do it all the time when Moses was in her class. What? Book or no book, we're off, Johnny. No, why? You didn't answer Ryan's calls when his mum had died. You've got that Divvy Mac thinking God knows what about us. And only you would blackmail a teacher for doing a job. You wonder why you get blocked. Hang on. One of the kids has got a crash helmet lying around here somewhere. Oh, no, wait, this'll do, this'll do. OK, give it to me straight. How much have you put away already? Get that pan off your head. Why? I thought you liked my quirky antics. You do that and I'm off. I came round to apologise for being narky earlier and to see how you are, but you always manage to wind people up and drive them away. <sighs> like you. Like your son. Oh, which one? Well, take your pick, but Ryan this time. And your boyfriend, and yeah, me and all now, cos you're impossible. And not only that, you're boring. It's always the same routine of making a mistake, getting defensive and drunk and ruining everything, when all you've got to do is say sorry. <sighs> Mrs Pitt sends her best. Hmm. As soon as I mentioned Johnny's book was here, she said you'd bring the shoplifting thing up. She's carrying a lot of guilt, considering it was only a scrunchie. Oh, but it was a very big one, because, you know, she had massive hair, didn't she? Yeah, I guess you're right. I am not a very nice person, am I? Still, yesterday was nice. It was. And then when I saw Ryan. But you must have picked up on his mood. No, honestly, I didn't. I thought maybe it was girlfriend trouble or Sarah's stupid laptop knackering up again. And I don't care what Ryan says. Max should have told me that Irene had died, but you know what? He was jealous, so he didn't. Maybe he had a right to be jealous, cos that's what you were hoping for. No, it wasn't! Not charity. He's about 20 years younger than you. You must feel like you're hanging on by a thread most of the time. You cheeky cow. Mrs Pitt's aged much better than you. Ryan needs you. Sort it out. Same for Mackenzie, if that's what you want. Mm. <laughs> uh, let's go back in. I've forgotten something. Just keep you cool. Cool as anything, me. Oh, and to think I was going to come and apologise to you because this one said I should. How stupid is she? You big fat rat. I am so much better off these days. Oh, charity is not what it looks like. Look at this. Hours later and she's still here. A rat and a brat. Hey, don't drag me into it. Let's see you, Charity. No, but you are it. Stop it, Mac. What would Ryan say? Well, he's always thought that you and I had a bit of a spark. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. How was it for you? Oh. Is that a suggestion that we practice? Do you know what? You're welcome to him. No, you two deserve each other. She'll get no arguments from me. You're a great match. Ness! <sighs> so 
you've already got my son. She's about the only person in the world I can actually talk to. Great. You wanted to punish me, and you did. And now we're the same, yeah? I'm as lost and as sad as you are. 